everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction, y'all. Heart Supper Season 3, Episode 4. Does it look like I've been crying? Because I was. <laughs> I was filming another show and I'm not gonna lie, I was bawling my eyes out. I was literally crying so hard. Um, watching this other show, you'll see a reaction. Oh, The Walking Dead, in case you guys wanna know. Completely different than this show. Um, and since I was already crying, I was like, uh, what else makes me cry? The show. So, <laughs> here we are watching Heartstopper, season three, episode four. I'm ready to jump right into this episode, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm already pre-gaming alone. Um, if you want to see this in the full reaction, the link is down below. While you're down there, please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Heartstopper and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Hey! I think you're gonna need a bath, huh? This dog is so cute. Very messy. He wants to get home and unpacked and stuff. I can't believe it's been two months. Yeah, same. How are you feeling? It's been a long two months. Have you done any journaling? <laughs> Helps you process your emotions. If I didn't journal every day, I'd literally have a breakdown. All right, all right, try it. Will you stop pressuring me? <laughs> yes. Is Charlie away at therapy? That saying, things get worse before they get better. I think I understand that now. In September, Charlie had a GP appointment. He said he hates going to the doctors. I mean, who enjoys going to the doctors? He got referred to an eating disorder service. But the first appointment for that wasn't until January. His eating disorder got worse. Can you just stop trying? We're just worried about you. What can you stop? I don't have to tell you everything. Then he stopped talking to me about it. He started skipping school a lot. It was a spinning wheel that was just getting faster. We used to self-harm, it's okay. All the time. I hate feeling like this. I read up about it online as well. It said you had to make them feel cared for. Try to just be there. I love you. He knew the compulsions made no sense, but he didn't know how to stop them. It's not your fault. But I can't stop it. Maybe you should tell your parents. Dad said I had to my decision to skip school for a bit, so... Don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. He wasn't allowed his phone in there, so I couldn't even ask how he was. Racked or both. I wasn't very good at it though. At least he doesn't have to wait until January. He's probably made some friends as well. <laughs> Where's Charlie been? He's missed like the last four practices. He's just off sick at the moment. Shit. Must be bad if he's been off this long. What's going on with him? Can't really talk about it. All good, mate. Yeah. Where have you? Charlie said I could tell our friends what was going on. Find a way to show their support. Pretty box. Maybe we could put some self-care stuff? I'll make a book list for him. Oh, what about movies? Does he have access to a Blu-ray player at all? What's a Blu-ray player? <laughs> you don't know what Blu-ray player <laughs> Could use a night out. I know I could. This feels weird. Without him. <laughs> wow. Because you're supposed to be my cat! This is all I can find. I'm making a video for Charlie so he knows how much we all love him. You should say something. Hi, Charlie. I love you. You had it here first, folks. Nick Nelson loves Charlie's brain. Okay, that's great. Then. Daily Frank from Donnie Darker. <laughs> what? We watched it last week. Ooh. Were you asleep again? Ooh, I might have been asleep. I swear. I swear. <laughs> Everyone, when I'm 
Mind if I join? Yeah, go on. The two, the clo two closest people to Charlie. Charlie phoned me from the clinic for the first time. Well, next year, I'm gonna make you go as Spider-Man. Even if I go as Mary Jane, you yeah. know? Do the upside down kiss. So I have anorexia and OCD. Yeah, there's not really an unawkward way to say that. I mean, I was a bit surprised about the OCD, but I have all these rules in my head about food, and if I don't follow them, I feel like I'm gonna die. Sorry, I have to laugh about it or I'll just cry. Well, even if you do have anorexia and OCD, the word sorry is still banned. I'd visit him with his family a couple times a week after that. Needed space. What? Still not sure if Tori likes me. <laughs> I've been dying to tell you when you out of myself all the parties when we're not in our bodies I knew he wasn't magically better or anything like that. And I knew staying away from home was a risk. It could have been horrible. Can you kiss me, please? Maybe it's just me hoping for the best, but honestly, I think it helped. I really do. I guess a lot's happened since I last wrote anything. The past few months have not been great. Have you been exercising excessively? Would you say that you're thinking about food almost all of the time? Yes, I think that's accurate. My therapist said I should write about it in my journal. Oh, right backwards. It's hard to talk about it though. myself lucky that my parents could even afford it. And that I went to one that actually managed to help me. I didn't get treated like sh I had Susan. Anything with a camera in, I'm afraid. How do I talk to my friends? Well, there is a landline on the ward. It would say. Rise and shine. We can't all be artists. I'm Jeff. Hi. I'm going to be your therapist while you're here. I still had to do schoolwork, which actually made me feel better. A few nice people. Probably not like lifelong friends, but I wasn't alone. I think a part of me didn't even want to get better, because putting in the effort to change seemed too hard. I thought food was something I could control, but it was the other way around. I could have called Nick whenever I wanted. I don't even know what I would have said to him. I hate it here and I can't stop crying. For some people, an eating disorder is about body image. But from my perspective, your eating disorder is connected to obsessions and compulsion. Charlie, does that sound accurate? When those obsessions become particularly intense, that can trigger the urge to self-harm. But let's unpack that. The actual eating disorder treatment stuff was not very fun. talk to him too. He's my favourite. If I let you call your boyfriend, do you solemnly swear stop telling me how amazing and wonderful he is? Try to stand up for myself. <laughs> Come on. Well, even if you do have anorexia and OCD, the word sorry is still banned. The S word rule still applies to the mentally ill. Could you look up Tao's number? I've been making a present. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's a surprise. Then why'd you mention it? Fine. I won't say anything this time. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about all of this. I didn't exactly make it easy for you. You were having your summer of love. Well, I love you too. So? Can I ask you how you are? Or is that kind of a shit question? Is it horrible there? No. It's hard and I wish I was at home. But I think it was a good decision. I hate that you were so... And I had no idea. I was good at hiding it. I missed it. Can you explain to me what happened with Imogen and Zahar? Because Nick was being way too empathetic about it. Imogen was doing shots like all night. I mean, a whole bottle of tequila. Documentary? I'm not actually sure. Okay, I'm intrigued. My name is Tao Su. 
And this is my short film about the everyday lives of my friends group, friends group minus one, who we all love very much. I hope that by watching this video, he'll feel like he's been here the whole time. In a metaphorical way, he has. Tell that doesn't even make any sense. Hey Charlie, so um, I read the song of Achilles and you said it was going to have a sad ending but um, I wasn't prepared and I cried for about four hours. Kind of mad at you actually because um, I asked you if you were okay and I guess you just lied. I hope that when you get back you don't feel like you have to lie to us anymore. We love you, so yeah. <laughs> Hot off the press, guys. Barbie and Dracula seen making out at a house party. <laughs> no. This is a joke to you. Documenting reality like you wanted, Tal. This is your vision. Trying out they, them pronouns. And just seeing how I feel. I don't know. Well, they. <laughs> Come here, you. Posted a new painting on Instagram. Yeah. And now I have over 10,000 followers. Go talk to Tal about her new prefect thing. Oh, yeah. Let me introduce you to Prefect. She goes to the Oxbridge Prep Group. She dances, she plays the clarinet. Stop. If you have a phone in there, Charlie. But I think he'd like to hear your voice. <laughs> Say hi to Charlie, sir. <laughs> hi, Charlie. Hi, hi Charlie. Uh, there's a spare seat waiting for you for when you get back. Thank you, Tal. The Bye, Tal. <laughs> okay. This turns out really good, then I'm keeping it. I miss you, Charlie. I love you. Hi Charlie. Hi Charlie. I think this is the end of the video now. You just want to say that when you get home, we've got a lot planned. Do we? Oh God. And we love you. And our friends group really isn't the same without you. But we know you're doing what you need to do right now. Yeah. By the way, I'm still mad at you about the Song of Achilles. What's that? It's a book thing, don't worry about it. Do you have to say to your boyfriend, Charlie Spring? Hi Charlie. I love you. Being at the clinic didn't magically cure me of mental illness. And we can carry on our sessions once a week for as long as you need. So even if it's terrible out there, I'll be here to help. You are gonna be all right. She's short. All right, kicking you out now. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's not gonna be a straightforward journey. Probably just the beginning. It says lasagna on your meal plan for today's. Is that all right? Uh, Mum? Yeah? Do I have time to go and say hi to Nick? I'll be back for dinner, I, I promise. Okay. <laughs> go on then. Great episode, great episode. This is a powerful episode. Definitely a learning episode about therapy, about how Charlie, you know, I was about to say, when we first saw that Charlie was gonna have to go to therapy in January, and we were already in September, I was like, oh, and you saw him getting worse and worse. I was like, he needs like immediate, I was thinking, he needs immediate attention. He needs to go somewhere, like now. There's hospitals all around. You don't need to wait for a, a therapy or, or an away, what are those called? Like a rehabilitation, 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 is rehabilitation? You guys know what I mean. A rehab. He doesn't need to go to a rehab institute. There we go, Andres. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! We finally got there, y'all. Um, he could have gone away, like right away to an emergency uh, place, and which is what he did. So that was good. There was a very powerful episode, really focusing on Nick and seeing how Nick was dealing with it. Yes, we understand what Charlie's going through, but that overwhelming feeling of what Nick how he felt lost, his anxiety, his emotional breakdown, um, him not being a part with Charlie's life. It, it's, I normally would say like that's what, you know, when a couple's with somebody nonstop, so when situations arise and you have to be a separate, you know, a, a part, um, things that things like this could happen but this is this is much deeper than that obviously the person that he cares for the most it seems in his life i'm sure he loves his parents but i'm you know what i mean um his boyfriend is so sick and then having his boyfriend go away for two months and he hasn't spoken to him um and before that situation it was getting worse for him and he wasn't being able to speak to him like i can only imagine what nick went through um 
he definitely seems like at that party when he was breaking down, I was like, oh my gosh, that was very hard to see. I'm telling you y'all 100% um, if I watched this before I watched the other show that had me crying my eyes out, I would have water marks all over my desk. I would be crying my heart out, but my eyes are literally hurting. I, <laughs> I have been, I am cried out. This episode in, in certain parts definitely made me feel very emotional, um, and I did start to tear because it was, it's very hard to see, and I'm an advocate of mental health awareness and mental health and just general, um, dealing with dealing with depression and anxiety and ADD myself, I completely understand. Well, I don't understand what Charlie's going through in particular because I don't have an eating disorder, but I can imagine feeling like lost and feeling like you're in this alone. Thankfully, thankfully, he said a part of this where he said, um, thankfully my mom could afford it. And unfortunately here in America, trying to do something like this to get better, to get treatment for your mental health is so expensive. And I, I don't know how, if there's like a long waiting list for things, but it's expensive because the medical um, places and you know, all those people who are the pharmacies, all those, it's all a monopoly. They're all making money off of other people's pain. You're gonna tell me we can get to the moon, we can get to the galaxies far, far away, but we can't find cures for mental illness and for just cures for diseases that we've had on this earth for, for, since I don't even know how long. Like, it's it's crazy to me um, how these big businesses are benefiting on people's pain. If there was a cure and people started getting cured from all these diseases, these people wouldn't have any money. They would be going broke, I would think. Well, they would have money because there's always going to be somebody who has a problem and an ailment, but they won't be where they are now and that's what they do that's what, what these big companies these big com pharmaceutical companies are just weeping in the dough while so many people out there suffer um i think in other countries the, it, their health care is like free i think or like stuff like this is free i'm not positive i thought i saw like in new zealand and canada it's like really good i could be wrong um but <laughs> the most what a random thing for me to say for all of I'm like New Zealand and Canada like <laughs> okay Andres yeah that's what I found out um, but regardless once again very strong episode Tao when he got emotional as well because you know he was is super close to Charlie it's always been Tao and Nick and for how not to know he felt lost that was also very emotional and Isaac's message to him where he was like I'm mad at you I was like oh this is not the time nor place I was and I said listen I'm always team no yeah I'm always team Isaac but I felt like that one part didn't have to be there like Isaac I understand that you're super blunt but in this part you need to wait until he's better you don't need to be leaving that on a recording like don't this is not about you you don't need to tell us you're mad Keep it to yourself. Get a diary like the rest of them did. Uh, <laughs> that's my only uh, little uh, one to the two. By the way, Darcy seems like she's like very anti, like put the light on her. She does not want people to be talking about her and what she's going through. She's like, please, please, please stop talking about me. Um, but regardless, very, very good episode. I really can't wait until we explore and do more of these. It's been amazing on this, talking about journey, the title of this episode. It's been an amazing journey so far in season three and I really can't wait for us to continue. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out all my other reactions. Please comment down below what you think about this episode and I'll see you all next time with more stuff, with more reactions. Until then, I'm off this. Look, I ain't got no time to be hanging around. Nobody trying to figure around if they could or evil. I'm fighting the crime, steady the lies. One at a time, I'm killing the rhymes. I do it for the people. I'm Peter Parker, running through the six with a bag.